Welcome to Tech Binomial. Let's see how to use the SQL light in the ionic capacitor project. Create a blank ionic capacitor project and proceed for the installations. Install the SQL light plugins. the app.module.ts file import the SQL light to add into the providers. In the HTML, we will take two buttons. First, to create or open the database, and second, to create a table. If the table, uh, if the database already exists, it will open it. If not, it will create a new database. Pass the name for the database and get the DB object. Set the strict initialization to false. It will remove the error. Call the create table query we are passing here if not exist. If the table not exist, it will create a new table with two columns name and price now to insert data into the table we will take two inputs on the html and one button to insert the data or add the record We have the ng model to bind the inputs for the book name and book price. We will use here the insert query and pass the value for the book name and book price. Execute the query. And get the result. Now once the record is uh, inserted we will check by the select query whether it is inserted or not and display it use the ng4 to display the records define one class book and declare book data of type class book it's the array
So it iterates through the records and displays in the HTML. At the select query, it returns the records, it read through the records and saved the data. Let's run this application on the Android mobile. So database created, table created, now input the book name and price. Now select query with the condition. Pass the where clause where name equal to and in the parameter section we will pass the parameter. Two records are present. Now it's selecting as per the condition. Now update record and delete record functionality. We'll define here transaction. update the record as per the name. If the transaction is successful, it will alert. Similarly for the delete record. Let's check it. Record updated successfully. Now delete it. So one record got deleted. Now to drop the table and close the database. Simply execute the drop table query. No records. Close the database. So it's working fine. So that is about the SQL Lite. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. It will encourage us. Thank you. Bye-bye.